tickets in Attica. Guess who was on his guest list? Lindsay Rigg Carson, his daughter. We make it 10 feet from the scene, five seconds after the shooting stops. That's 10 feet too far and five seconds too late for an arrest warrant. You have to talk to Judge Seidenberg? He's in the hospital, gallstones. I could talk to Judge Flores. Search warrant good enough? I need you to open the storage room for this detective, all right? Ray, get a look at this. It was under the bed. Court TV, mayor testifying at her father's trial. Mayor testifying in Florida, in L.A. Without Reason by Dr. Leon Mayer. Looks like she has the complete works. Yeah, plus a bunch of newspaper clippings of Mayer. Only thing missing is the doll with the pins in it. I'd rather have the gun. Take a look at this. Must be rigged. What are you doing to my home? You can't just come in here like this. Miss Carson, we have a search warrant. I don't care. That, that's my property. Yeah, well, now it's evidence. Oh, but if you want to make sure we don't lose it, you're welcome to come along with us. Once we're done, you can leave and take this stuff back with you. I guess I don't have a choice. And if you don't mind. Yeah, we have to check and make sure you're not carrying anything dangerous like a hat pin. Officer, you want to escort her, please? <sighs> I told you I don't know where I was on Friday night. I've been working very hard. Oh, so you really don't remember where you ate dinner? Why is that so important? People saw you at the Trident restaurant on 9th Avenue around midnight. It's a mistake. I never eat that late. Funny thing is, that's the same time two people got shot there. One of them was killed. And the other one seems to be a hobby of yours. Dr. Mayer? What? You think I shot him? It sure looks like you got a problem with him. But you blame him for your father's conviction? Oh, I get it. My father got railroaded for murder, and now it's my turn. <laughs> this girl's gonna be a lot of fun. She's been here almost an hour, and she hasn't been Mirandized. We told her she can leave whenever she wants. I'd like to keep her talking. I'd like to be sure whatever she does say we can use. Janet? Miss Carson, I'm Lieutenant Van Buren. I'd like you to clear up a few points. Do you own a gun? No. Have you been in possession of one? No, of course not. Have you fired one at a shooting range recently? No. Then maybe you can explain why our lab found traces of gunpowder in your portfolio. I've answered enough questions. I'm leaving now. I, uh, I want my portfolio back, and I'm taking these with me. I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm not leaving without them. You're not leaving. Please, put those down. You're being arrested for murder and attempted murder. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you this can't. material serves only one purpose, to make my client look like a blue-ribbon lunatic. If the shoe fits. It's just research. My father needed an expert. Miss Powell, would you instruct your client? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Carson assembled these clippings on the doctor when she was thinking of hiring him in her father's defense. And her client went right on clipping long after her father's trial was over. What was she researching then? She had an interest in Dr. Mayer. It doesn't mean she wanted to kill him. It's for a jury to decide what she wanted. I'm going to allow this material, Miss Powell. Now for the other part of your motion about the gunpowder residue. They had a premises warrant for the apartment. Miss Carson was in the building hallway when they searched her portfolio. The defendant voluntarily handed it to the officers. They took it from me. What did they tell you, their exact words? They told me because I was going to ride with them to the station, they had to check my portfolio for anything dangerous. Assuming even a temporary seizure was legitimate, People v. Clementi allows only an inventory of the contents, not a chemical analysis. The gunpowder residue was apparent to the officers. How? Oh, were these canine officers? The police have every they right to... for weapons for their own safety. They don't need a microscope to do that. The gunpowder is out. Then, Your Honor, I move to dismiss the charges. The people have no direct evidence. We can still place her in the ladies' room right after the shooting. Come back when you can place her in the men's room. The motion is granted. Charges are dismissed. I was finished with this case a year ago. And I ran out of money. I did the trial. I did the direct appeal. That's all I was required to do. Now I drive all the way from Albany to listen to this. We're prepared to drop murder one down to murder two against his daughter. And we're giving your client an opportunity you haven't been able to offer. An opportunity to sell out his daughter for a chance at parole in 23 years? He's got a better shot claiming I screwed up. I read your brief. 
I wouldn't pack your suitcase just yet. Maybe you haven't read Acevedo versus U.S. down in New York. You should give the dissent a closer read. You're here to stay, Mr. Rigg. You tell us how your daughter ended up with your gun, you get a chance at parole. Parole after 15 years. You're lucky to get any offer at all. I wouldn't wish this life on anybody, especially my own kid. Even if I could answer your questions, I wouldn't. You know, I'll go to hell. Guard! Well, it was worth a shot. Niagara Falls is 45 minutes away. You ever been? When I was nine, my brothers tried to push me in. Maybe we don't need Rig to connect her to the gun. If Albany Homicide couldn't find the gun. They don't know what we know. They tracked Rig, not his daughter. Monday, May 7th. County jail records have Lindsay visiting her father six hours after he surrendered. What time, Monday? 3.30 in the afternoon. Well, her work has her checking out Monday at 1 in the afternoon, and she didn't come back in until Tuesday afternoon. Monday, May 7th? Wherever she went, she had a full tank of gas. $18 worth Monday in Albany. Wonder what else she charged. Tuesday, Yellow Shutters Motel, Binghamton, New York. $2.50. Must be an incidental charge. Phone call, maybe. She probably paid for the room in cash. So after she talked to her father in the lockup in Albany, right away she jumps in her car and drives two hours to Binghamton. You guys want to check out the accommodations at the Yellow Shutters Motel? We'll break out our thermals. You're going to keep arresting her until you find a judge stupid enough to let you get away with it? We've got her at the scene. We've got a decent ballistics match. To what? To a gun she didn't have access to? You mean the gun she removed from the space heater of room 103 at the Yellow Shutters Motel two years ago? What's your evidence? A registration book which shows your client and her father stayed in the same room on consecutive nights. Another coincidence? The way they keep piling up, it's enough to bury her. Not if you expect a jury to vote on a capital charge. We'll argue inevitable discovery and get the gunpowder back in. You have an offer? Murder two, assault one, 25 to life. Give us a day. <laughs> 